you a woman searching for purpose and success? A housewife? Maybe a single mother? You're in the right place. Welcome to Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast with Ms. Lisa Nobles. Activate. Motivate. Inspire. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to the Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast. I am Ms. Lisa Nobles, your hostess, and I am so excited and elated to have you join in with me today. Speaking of today, your topic consists of part two of the Overcoming Disappointment series, which in this particular episode is entitled Full Steam Ahead, Family. We briefly discussed in part one the three keys for overcoming disappointment, not putting people on unnecessary pedestals, avoiding setting unrealistic expectations of yourselves, and rising like steam. Well, today, with these these <laughs> three keys, we will discover how to push forward. We will discover the keys for moving forward despite the experience or sometimes unexpected sense of disappointment. This is my absolute favorite key number one. I might have to write an ebook just on this. The lies in which we tell ourselves, family. When we become disappointed, when we strive to fulfill our self-fulfilling prophecies, those things we secretly believe that will help us to shine when in all actuality, the content of our hearts is filled with mold and dust particle family. We avoid realizing that doing good sometimes has unexpected consequences. Come on now. And that having a family does require sacrifice family. Believe it or not, hated hatred can be accompanied by a form of love dependent on your nurturing environment as a child. Come on now. And sometimes we believe that discussion or that decisions will happen effectively without restriction or heartache. That's simply not true. And if you are anything like me, which most of you are, you will feel that you have a life without the expect- expectation of needs and actions required due to our responsibilities and day-to-day activity. The lies in which we tell ourselves, family. There is no growth without loss or even pain. And life does present the inclusion of death, death of loved ones, friends, family, and emotionally sometimes we experience death, family. Yet you will become a better person for having overcome these instances. You will become a better person when you include the facets of life that are not so good. Why? Because life is a series of disappointments. Come on now. And your perception can be the reality of anything or nothing at all, which is a phrase that I coined in undergrad grad at Ashford University. You can conquer, conjure up our pain and emotions that bring and causes conflicts in which we begin to question ourselves. However, the reality is is the more we deny these factors of life the more our lives become stressed family see stress come on did you get it stress is is a correlation of the denial of the factors of the negativity that sometimes we encounter in life you have to deal in order to heal the guess what the lies in which we tell ourselves key number two is life simply happens a happens family for some poverty is affecting us from a physical and mental perspective you can be poverty stricken is stricken in your emotions which causes you to act as an emotional train wreck and then for some unknown or known reason you can become a victim of poverty because of unemployment or unfathomable or unfortunate circumstances of life however everyone deals with difficulties differently and some more personally when we should strive to focus on is or what we should strive to focus on is gaining clarity within the moment right when our hopes and our dreams do not manifest in the design within that circumstance we which we had the hope for some we begin to question if our goals were real or if what we wanted existed or even if it was obtainable when we cannot find a solution within ourselves we will begin to project those feelings onto those who are closest family come on i know somebody can relate to this these processes that we can sometimes experience leave us feeling that life 
will prove our desires unrealistic. But at the end of the day, we must experience hurt and frustration. Come on, to overcome despair. And when we are searching for someone or something to blame, as I spoke about in episode number one, look in the mirror and take a bold look at yourselves. Because I have learned and I too believe that frustration and pain builds our emotional muscle. There is a deep connection between our dreams and ideas, and I'm going to add even our pains. Therefore, thereby, do not think, because life happened, that your pains are not worthwhile, or that you have to succumb to an inexplicable experience. You are worthwhile. The lies in which we tell ourselves. Key number three, your last key for the day. It's simply just walking humility. One of the fascinating elements of life is humility. And it's often probably the difficult to understand as well as to obtain. My hat's off to those who are humble. Hey, I tell you. And within that humility, they are ready and able. They serve authentically because they know who they are and are comfortable being them themselves. They don't have to put on no, no mask for other, others. However, there are there will be times when if you are anything like me, which most of you are, I'll say that again, you will allow perfection, come on now, to be the enemy of consistency, of success, of possibilities, and being extraordinary, family. Perfectionism will help you to procrastinate come on now perfectionism will enable you to compromise within yourselves and with reality perfectionism will make you believe that achievements are complicated and there is no need to self-express yourself through the painful process it takes to win you'll just give up that's all i'm saying and with Excellence, And not only just when, just win with excellence. Perfectionism will make you believe that your goals are distance, which brings up a lack of desire and the avoidance of the obligations that we promised ourselves. Family. Come on now, here's the deal. You cannot be for some, you cannot be for sure about everything in life and certain about anything in life. Come on now, when our lives become empty, the outer self will still pull forward and with full steam ahead. Come on, did you get that? But to ease our pain of potential disappointment, you may need to become your brand of help. Come on now. And I'm not just talking about your business brand. You got to become the, the help sign and support, right? To alleviate your possible discomfort. You must strive to sort out your difficulties through the revision of conflicts. And at times you will need to schedule out time to find yourselves. I'm just talking about being an emotional train wreck, which is it is a chapter I wrote in my book uh, that I'm going to publish one day. Awaken my sister, awaken my friend. Your best is yet to come. I maintain this on this premise, family. I'm going to say this one more time. Maintain your steam over what's in the pot because sometimes the steam is just the illusion. Come on now. I wish I could clap for myself. You must continually check on the content of what's in the pot or instead do an occasional part checkup. That's all I'm saying. To move straight ahead with what enthusiasm. You still should, you should believe in the certainties of your dream. Because that's how you manifest your heart desires, family. Guess what? Those are the lies in which you should not tell yourself. Hey, now, come on now. Here is your environment quote for today by Shannon Adler, who once found that he who is not every day conquering some fear, come on now, has not learned the secret of life. 
that's all I'm trying to, I love that quote by Shannon Adler, and I'm going to tell you, I am elated to have participated in this show today. I know that someone somewhere was touched by this wealth of knowledge. Thank you for being a part of the uh, Savvy Speaks and family, uh, family with me, Miss Lisa Nobles. You know me. I love you. I truly do. And thank you for being a part of the show. And remember, family, remember, remember my mantra. And as I always say, you are, you are a unique combination of experiences. Clothed in purpose, strength, and destiny. Guess what? Have a great week, and I will see you right here next time on the Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast with Ms. Lisa Nobles. Online at imlisanobles.com and on Facebook and Instagram at EWOFP. If you enjoyed today's episode, please rate and review. And we'll catch you next time on Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast. Activate, motivate, inspire.